You're diabetic, is that right? Yeah. Okay. And she's got, you know, pretty obvious uh, pernicia up there. And then if you look at the at the front side of the finger, this is all, this is a felon. This is where the tissues are really boggy and infected. So she's going to need antibiotics. But we're going to talk a little bit about a unique way to manage this that is, I think, just equally effective. So what we're going to do for starters, we're going to do some beta dyne topically. She's had a digital block that has been completely successful. This really was meta, more of a metacarpal combination digital block that we did. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna, give me this, I'm gonna just raise this up just a little bit. And we're just gonna go flat, flat with the blade. And then we're just gonna slide right up there. I'm gonna go flat with the blade. And we're gonna slide right up there. We'll see, so we should be. Let's see if we can make pus. Now we may, let's see. I can see where the previous 18 gauge needle mm -hmm. was, yeah. You're doing a great job. Yeah, so there, so it, we're just getting blood on this. So there's there's no up. So go ahead and put a cap back on that without stabbing yourself. Mm -hmm. So the next thing we're going to do then, turn your hand over like this. Give me another betadine swab. We got another one. And uh, this is, there's multiple little compartments. But felons, in my opinion, are... Uh, compartment syndromes and the problem with these fingers is that the uh, compartment there's like maybe 10 15 little compartments and so with my experience I do compartment decompressions and I use an 18 gauge needle and so I'm just going to go ahead and poke here um, it's going to bleed a little bit but I'm going to poke at least three or four times you okay and what this does, then it actually decompresses this. You're going to watch and see what happens from the swelling, the swelling on this. So you shouldn't be feeling a thing here. Okay. Okay. So, I'll hold that, please. You can see here I did multiple little... Yeah, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm just going to massage this a little bit, and I may. It does look less swollen. <laughs> it does. It does. It feels less small, too. Mm -hmm. I may just do, I may just go up in here and do. Okay, if you'll hold that. Now the, the the other the other option is to do like a major incision not major that's hyperbole but is to do a, a, a incision in this and it always leaves a scar it sometimes interferes with the function of the finger pad and uh, I find she that does archery. We can't do that. what's that she shoots archery we can't do that <laughs> yeah 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 okay baby okay that hurt all right okay. All right, so what we're going to do next is, um, so we're going to clean, clean you up here. Um, we'll go ahead and put, um, we'll just hold this on here. We are going to then uh, just keep your finger just like that, if you would. So you're going to go on some clindamycin as an antibiotic. We need to check this out. She needs to come back in 24 hours uh, to be rechecked, now just to make sure it's getting better. Come on, baby. We're done. Yep, yep. I'm going to put some, wrap it up a little bit better for you.